Come on, people. Let's see if you can turn up and tell me if this looks alright. Hey, Diffum. Veggie. Isis. Alright, well, we're not really doing anything here. It's just that I spent the last hour or so changing the cameras over from the default PAL setting, which is 50 frames per second, over to the NTSC or whatever. And uh, hopefully we've got 60 unlocked, because what was happening before, I noticed it when I was watching my videos, just to check on clarity, the uh, these two cameras were fine at 50 and OBS was pushing out at 50, but the microscope runs at 60 and I can't change that. And I noticed there was stuttering on the microscope as it sort of... Well, OBS didn't really know what to do with the extra frames, and I suspect it was just doing a drop. But yeah, you can do um, <coughs> you can do frame interleave, yeah, blending and whatnot. Uh, throws in a bit of motion blur to try and get it. But I thought, you know what? These days we all run LED lighting, and we're not really subjected to the usual 50 hertz flickering issue that we're used to. So hopefully this transition has seemed all right. Um, yeah, there should be that. Yeah, we might get a light flicker, but basically all of my main lights are all um, switched over to DC powered uh, LEDs now. So it'd be very unlikely for me to see too much flicker, especially given that you know I've got a 120 watt and a 100 watt switch mode supplied uh, lamps coming. I've got the 120 already. So it should be okay as far as I can tell anyway. So hopefully, you know, the it seems pretty good. There's a little bit of, um, it's okay as long as I don't get going too fast there. Anyway, let's see how you go. Let's go to the overhead. I got to say it was quite a, uh, quite a task to do the changeover. The Panasonic camera wasn't too bad but the Sony camera required quite a bit of a rigmarole to get it to comply. You can get the software, there's this uh, firmware tweaker on GitHub, and I got that, but even just having that wasn't enough. You actually had to know the exact sequence, prep sequence, and then after sequence, to get the camera to do the switch over and I have a horrible feeling that should the firmware ever be reset I'm gonna have to redo that hopefully it's not going to be the case you get some flicker in your LED lights have you got ones that are like ceiling mount yeah just straight off the mains or have you actually got from a power pack into the light now the ones I have they basically have you know switch mode power brick and it drops it down to 48 volts, whatever it is that they want, and then drives the light. Uh, let's see, A3X. So anyway, as long as this is working all right, I'm obviously going to review this footage afterwards and see if anybody's lying to me. Um, 922 camera camera flickers badly it's 60 you have to set it to me oh yeah that's um that's interesting that if you're running from a power brick you're subjected to the flickering but yes the 922s will do it i've noticed and i find it very frustrating that you have to essentially remember to set them back every time it's like they just they don't even remember their firmware settings for some reason i don't understand why it's a bit of a shame because other than that it's a good pretty good little web camera Certainly, I was very happy with it when I had them. Um, so I'm just trying to reassemble this damn thing. As usual, I'm way behind on everything, and it doesn't help that I spend an hour or two switching over to deal with this sort of thing. Especially with also YouTube, it just changes. If I upload at 50, it seems to re-encode it at 60. So, in fact, I think it even does that on the fly. Like if I up with my streams at 50, it will actually adjust them to uh, 60, even for the live. It's a bit weird. Should be that easy. We're filtering with a couple of lit, a couple of leaded parts stuck in the what? No, no, no. 
it's always been a bit of a shame that we've had this disparity between the countries in terms of their AC frequency. It would have been nice if everybody just stuck to 60. I don't know why the UK and subsequent colonies went to 50. I'm sure there was a reason. But it leads to this sort of thing where you have forevermore to carry over all the legacy issues. Lead not lead, or is that lead not lead? Hooray for English. I'll switch over to the microscope just now. See if that behaves. Yeah, for a bit there I was thinking, I really cannot reliably get a 50 frames per second microscope camera. I think I saw one from my usual supplier and they wanted $1,600 for the, that camera. I mean, it is it is a 60, but it has, at least in the firmware, the option to switch to 50. It's uh, one of the biggest problems with a lot of these microscope cameras is the firmware is just truly god-awful. There are no real options in there. You're just sort of stuck with whatever they happen to set it at. And so good luck to you, sir. Yeah, it's so no chance to upgrade or anything. In the firmware, when you go into the camera, you can actually see there is the option to um, load in a new firmware. But I have no idea where to even get that firmware from. I'm sure it uh, varies. You know, I've got to use a microscope now. Yeah, come on. But yeah, basically I was just a little bit disappointed when I looked at the video footage because everything looked clear and such, but it had that stuttery effect going on. Particularly, You noticed it more, obviously, when I moved. Wait, I'm going in back. I'm going in the back way. That's not the right way. Looks like Mr. Daniels could do with the coffee. Yeah, no wonder it wouldn't fit in there. It was like, squeeze it in, I would have done some damage. Well, lucky me, worked that out before it was too late. Hey there, Yindi. Sorry, Yindi Yamara. Then again, I know you like being called Yindi too. Ah, see, we haven't even switched over. That's because I do not have my great microscopes not playing the game. What are you doing, microscope? You want to give me an auto? Okay. Yeah, okay, let's try this. No. Oh, there we go. Right, there okay. It seems like it's happy there now. Yeah, so that's why I sort of decided, you know what, you don't mind being called Yindi. I'm kind of curious to see what the panning, um, if there's any tearing as I pan. For me personally, I get a whopping rift right through the middle. Are you guys getting this rift through the middle? That's pretty damn suckful if there is. And it can't really be the machine, because the machine is more than happy to process this data, and I've got the NVIDIA T400 encoding. The CPU is barely at 10%. Look clear? You don't get it? Okay, it must be just, for some reason, Linux with um, whatever it is with the graphics system, it does tend to sometimes have problems with tearing with video outputs on the display. And it's probably because the display I'm looking at is not the primary display. I suspect if I put OBS on the primary display, it won't do it. Because I noticed it upstairs on my, um, on my 
other new machine, the one that where I've got the dual, um, the dual Dell 27 inches, and also another T400 graphics card, and it does the same thing on the second screen. So I don't know why. For some reason, if you're not on the primary screen, Linux has its issues. You saw a PLD brain multimeter. Well, it's going to be complete crap then, isn't it? Unless it was a low ohms meter, in which case I only ever sold two of those. That was a lot of time, money, and investment in making those things. And unfortunately, I was going along a little bit too much with what someone else wanted. And by the end of it all, it was a case of I realized that, you know what, there's no real market for this that can afford what I want to charge for it. Oh, AliExpress, yeah, definitely not mine then. <laughs> I'll review the footage after I've finished up this and we'll have a good look and see how it is. But hopefully the 60 frames per second, even though it's only 10 more frames, hopefully because it's more of standard for what most of the computer equipment is made for, it comes across a bit clearer. Uh, I can see a little bit of... Um, the f it's like the frame, it's like the, uh, what do you call it, shutter speed is set up too high still. Anyway, it, we'll tweak it, and I suspect once I get the extra lights in here, it will change things yet again. But as long as it's behaving, I'm good. Alright then, that computer's fixed up, that was just a reassembly from the other day. I'm out of here, I've got to go outside, spend some time in the real world, get myself a coffee, and I might catch you up uh, later tonight. We'll see how we go. Thanks for being here. Thanks for letting me know how it is. I appreciate it. I'll see you next time.